I'm Dash and welcome back to my channel. So if you have already watched my last video on my YouTube channel, then you will already know that this video is going to be all about this palette right here. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting uh, Unlock Edit right here. So I'll be reviewing this palette in today's video. I'll be showing the colors, demo application, basically my first impression and also letting you know whether is it like a more brown skin girl friendly or more suitable for deeper tan skin so yeah that's basically it for this video but if you haven't watched my previous video which actually is the foundation review on the hourglass vanish stick i will put the link right here so you guys can watch the video and yeah if you want to know all about this palette right here in this video then just keep watching but as always subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already also follow me on instagram and my facebook page at things dash beauty like this video if you enjoyed and comment down below what future videos will you like to see and just keep watching to show you the box packaging of the palette right here so this is the box packaging and then this is the actual packaging right here I will show you the colors in a second but just to let you know that this palette is actually a limited edition for 2018 holidays collection if I'm not mistaken and by the time now I'm uploading this video it's already out of stock so I'm sorry for you those of you who couldn't get it but I really still want to do this video because generally I really want to know like how the hourglass like ambient lighting powders are so good and so highly raved about and also share my reviews and opinions for you guys so in this palette right here it comes with six shades the first shade is actually the finishing powder in soft light the second is finishing powder in filtered light the third is a bronzer and it's called the golden bronzer Bronze light. The fourth is the blush nude glow. The fifth one is also a blush in mood flush. And the sixth powder is actually a metallic stroke powder in the shade champagne stroke light. So just to show you the packaging all over again, I really like the packaging especially like the mirror inside it. The only downside is actually like the fingerprint thingy on here but to start off this like demo application, I'll be using the two powders right here. Mix it to and then I think I'll be applying like under my eye. Okay, so first initial reaction, it's a bit weird because I almost feel like nothing happened but I can see something is happening like I do suddenly feel that this side is so much more smoother wait am I tripping or what? yeah this side is like a little bit more smoother the two powders are actually quite nice so far so let's move on and next I'll be applying this bronzer right here in the pan itself it doesn't look like it's going to do anything because the shade is a little bit on the lighter side but I'm still going to try it out I'm just going to load my brush oh there's actually something there it's just so soft and nice oh my god just going to put a little bit on my jawline I don't know whether you can see it on camera or not but like this portion right here looks very bronze like compared to this side you can see it's quite flat but you can see like some warmth and also some bronziness here I really like to see the nose contour difference so I'm just gonna take a little bit okay I'm gonna tell this is already so good okay I like the nose contour as well and I love the bronziness as well so now moving on to one of my favorite stuff in makeup routine it's actually blush so I was super duper excited to try out these two blushes right here I'm gonna try out with the uh, matte shade first so I'm just going to put my brush inside it I'm using like a stippling brush so I'm just going to load up my brush just gonna smile it's actually like showing up color but it's not like too intense on the face so it's a very like soft kind of blush but it's there you can definitely see it's there like and compare already without even without the highlight you can really see like a very nice like warmth and color to your skin compared to this side it looks pretty flat 
but so far so good so and then I'm just going to top it off with the uh, the shimmery blush right here okay I definitely can see the little hint of glow yeah this is actually a very nice blush topper okay and it also gives color like I can really feel that the blush is pretty intense right now and now moving on to highlighting so I'll be taking this brush right here a bit. I don't want to be too much I'm just going to tap a bit off oh okay I can see something is there I'm just going to put a little bit Ooh, that nose highlight Okay guys, so I just done the other side of camera right here. So after playing with this side, I can really feel that my opinions are very strong already. So I really know what's going on. So starting off with the powder itself, with the first and second powder, which is the soft light and filtered light. So these two right here, I don't know how to differentiate the difference between the both because I use them both together. but. These are the two products that actually surprised me the most out of the entire palette because shockingly because I was super excited basically super excited of all the colors but these two really shocked me so much because after I applied this side I think like wait why is it like so so filtered like it's so nice and then I applied the other side it's exactly same thing happened so I am seriously until now so shocked that from a very like normal type of look it just make everything so much more like uh, so much more filtered and so much more nice and even in camera itself I feel like it looks so so smooth so yeah this is definitely one of my most like surprise shock product the powders are actually so soft like it is so 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 soft I, I really cannot explain much further but it's really very nice I like these two powders a lot so moving on is actually the bronzer right here and this product seriously blows my mind because at first like when I swatch it I feel like it's basically not gonna do anything to me it's exactly same with my skin tone but once I use a brush like this to apply you can use this for powder brush but I use this to apply my bronzer and oh my god like I can really feel the warmth of my skin and also it feels like a suntan kind of look and I believe like a little bit if you have a little bit darker or tanner skin you can actually work this out because like the bronzer itself is not like entirely matte or shimmery it's just like a very nice like a glowy type of finish and it just softened the entire makeup look and moving on is these two blush right here the shimmery brush and also the matte blush right here first of all I really like the matte blush because this side I feel that uh, this stippling brush and also this brush right here from Real Techniques, uh, Real Techniques is the blush brush. Don't use this blush to apply because sometimes some formula stippling blush are the stippling brush are the black. I cannot talk. Stippling brush are the best brush to apply blush, but. For Real Techniques blush brush right here, I really like it a lot to apply this uh, this shade, especially this formula because once I use the stipping brush to apply the blush right here, I feel it kind of can get carried away because I really need to like pack the brush on to have like entire brush coated with product. But for this one right here, I can really just precisely add just right here at the tip and it just focus very nicely at the cheek area and also that's for the uh, matte brush right here so just at this area but for the high uh, a little bit more shimmery type of brush this blush and brush making me crazy okay so the highlighty brush shit. the highlight type of blush right there as a, like a topper blush it's so nice if you only apply at apples of the cheek so just now I apply like almost here so I feel that after I apply this side just at the apples of the cheek when you smile like can you see this part is so glowy 
compared to this part right here because I really only focus at this like center cheek right here so every time you smile you get that very youthful goal which I seriously love it so much so that highlight like this this shade right here the highlighty one the blush one at the apples of the cheek is best for overall, I don't really like it, but the matte one overall is very nice as well. And then, finally, last but not least, is actually this highlighter right here. I was like, at first so impressed by the swatch itself because it seems to be very blinding, but surprisingly, I wasn't really a big fan of it. Because like, it's there, and then it's just like, you know, I'm, I just... I don't know, I don't know what to say about this. It's not my favorite formula because I do prefer other of my highlighters but so far, the highlight is definitely one of my least favorite powders among all six of these. And yeah, because I feel that maybe it's there and then maybe it's not there and it's like, I don't know, I just have a very mixed feelings of the highlight but on the nose, it looks so good. I don't know why but on the cheek, it's just Maybe is it too soft for me? I have no idea because generally I do like softer highlighters for like a very everyday glowy type of look but usually softer highlighters doesn't really emphasize any texture but this is like slightly emphasizing my texture so I don't really like that about that so yeah that is basically it on this review palette right here so I really hope I get my opinions and also review up like very clear to you guys and so yeah that completes this video I really hope you guys enjoy this video let me know if you guys have already tried any of the ambient lighting powders I would love to like read your reviews and all so yeah if you guys enjoy this video don't forget to like this video share this video and I will see you guys in my next video bye